Hello everyone, Duke here with part 20 of this Ottoman Empire campaign, Empire Total War Darth Mod. And we are carrying on from last time where we managed to stop the blockade of Beirut and Latakia with our new small teeny navy. Uh, came out of cost, we, can't manage, we don't have the money to uh, repair those ships uh, right now, we're still broke, but the money saved this turn... Uh, that has been added back on through trade should go toward repairing the navy next turn. Uh, but I can't think of too much to do this turn. I've just jumped back onto this campaign for the first time a couple of days, and I think we are good to end the turn. I don't think there's too much more to do. We are all the Austrians, but who have based themselves in Bavaria, and we are trying to modernise this army here in Milan. Uh, I think the army in Pressburg is all but modernised. We're slowly doing... Oh, yeah, we can move some guys here. Okay. Oh, no. I see what we can do now. We can repair, try and repel this army that is marching under uh, Mr. Golovina again. So, uh, he is back. Can we get him? First? I think it's the same guy, Golovina. So, we need to attack that army. Because if we, rep if we reinforce it with these guys... Then it won't be able to march out and meet the Russians, so we're going to have to send it out uh, on its own. Let's, let's go. Fortunately, this is fully healthy, this army. This army is mostly intact. A few Tatar units and Kalmuks that have been hurt in the past by us, I think. But Oh, and the general's bodyguard is still very small from the last time. This must be him. Uh, so, it must be the same general. So, a couple of 12 pounders. Yeah, it's a big. Big battle. I mean, we're about even, nearly, nearly neck and neck numbers wise. Uh, so let's just hope that uh, our new fangled uh, discipline and drill will help carry the day. Let's get going. Yeah, so it would be good in time to take. Uh, the Crimea off the Russians in this campaign. It's just, I'm worried about leap. If I move this army out of Jassy, will that then mean that we are opening up for attack from the other side? Jassy's quite vulnerable strategically, I think. It's uh, near uh, quite a lot of, well, it's got, it's got multiple fronts, really. It's kind of surrounded on all sides uh, at the moment by enemies, which is a pain. Guys, back here, and you guys can go about here. Let's try and sort of line them up roughly. Oh, there. Right. Let's put some infantry in the middle. It's uh, about right. Step back a few, and I want to hit. Get friendly fire. Okay, so you're done. And let's do these guys along here. Let's do these guys along that flank. Maybe we can spread them out a little thinner. Yeah. Keep going and going with them. There we go. Right, and we're going to put one unit of grenadiers here. I'm going to put the other unit of grenadiers here. And then that cheese leaves. The cavalry. Uh, so that's off fire at will. There we go. There we go. And you will go up there. And the general will go there. Right, start the battle. Get everyone firing at will straight away. Um, it's tired of this up a bit. Guns are so good against other cannons. Only they had a high rate of fire, I deemed them perfect. Alright, these guys can make square, so let's get ready to receive some cavalry. Ah, I, should have. I wondered if I should change the canister, but I didn't. Oh well, we're fortunately we were. 
I, I was worried they were going to charge our cannons. Which they might still do. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's start. Let's face fire forward in case. In case we reload in time. Oi! The sheer ruddy sheep. Looks like we're not going to be able to target it. Oh, that was clever. I think I found the square. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's it. Good, good, good job, guys. Fire right to that big old blob of men they've made. Okay. It's too late for these guys to form squares. Once a unit is in. Oh, well, we can here again. The, the usual logic is once a unit has been engaged in combat, melee wise, it can't then form a square. But looks like we still can. Yeah, that's it. Fire this block here, guys. I always find when you have an, the more amazing the a target you have, the more likely your cannon just misses. Like the more easy it is to hit, and the more damage you could potentially do, your cannon will fire wide. But if you're trying to hit like a dinky like three-man unit, you'll get it every time. Just my experience, but also my luck. Right. Are these guys ending fire? I'm really doing an awful lot of combat against them. Right. There we go. Get a fire there. Good to go fire again. Very nice. Show these guys what happens. Okay. These guys have to be really close to start firing. So. Oh, I can I'm going to show you grenades. I'm going to show you grenades. So now we're close enough anyway. These guys throwing grenades. So they're just throwing their grenades. Hopefully Ah, oh, they didn't do it. Why didn't they do it? I swore I saw the animation. Maybe it was something else. Right. Okay, firing arrows on our cannons. Looks like we've got away with that one. I think the good thing about bows and arrows, the one thing I can say, is the rate of fire is fantastic compared to gunpowder weapons. Which makes them, I guess, a good target to hit fast against cannons like these. But you've got to get in close. Oh, guys, please fire. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, we did a grenade. Yeah, that might have worked. Let's try now. Uh, I don't think the grenades work in this game. I can't seem to get them to the phone. Now we're doing it. Yeah, there we go. Now that was awesome. <laughs> so that was just the coolest thing. Did you see all that? Like, that just decimated those units. We'll be doing those again soon. Right, anyway. Right, we've got some. We've got some cannon to shoot, so let's fire the canister over there. Uh, we've got a cannon unit here we can fire the canister with. Yeah, perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Nice targets here. Don't let them go to waste. Okay, they're closing in a bit, a bit too close for my liking. Five by rank is working as it should. Yeah, it's 
think is genuinely one of the most devastating cannon haulers I've ever seen in my life in, the, in these games. Like that. I actually can't. That's insane. The organ gun close range is. It is basically a weapon of mass destruction. Right. It's a semi as well. This side. Poor guys, can't catch a break. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to have an awful lot of money with which to replenish these troops. So, the first thing we're going to have to do at the beginning of the next turn is fix our navy and fix this army. <laughs> the organ gun is so destructive, I targeted this unit and I managed to take out some cavalry over there. Keep coming on. I seem to make them leave. Yeah, I'm gonna speed things up a little bit. It's not. There's not an awful lot we need to stay up top of. I will target that squirrel by the way. I find in general squares to be a very tempting target. Another unit coming back again. Whew. Don't know when to quit. Right, I'm going to send some cavalry now to chase down the general. He's gone away. There's too many times. Get these guys to stop fighting in case we have to then fire on our own cavalry as we charge. In fact, let's get these guys to stop firing as well. Let's unleash the cavalry then. And start mopping up. No, that's why it's a regiment line. Regiment of line infantry. Front unit. Whoa. That was close. Amazing we didn't get any funny fire there. Right, so we should have another cavalry unit. Oh, have we committed the ball now? Yes, we have. the uh, 12 pounders. They had two units of it, so what happened to the other unit, I don't know. It's either completely dead, which I just feel is unlikely. I don't know they are. Maybe they are all dead. I'd be surprised, but that'd be good if they are. If take this unit out, there'll be uh, no more artillery in this, uh, un in this army. Dare you do exactly what you should do. Might want to pick some. Uh, actually, I might just let the artillery do it. Okay, their general is at last dead. Golovina, shovel us no more. Okay. 
I don't. I can't really be too bothered to spend a long time chasing units down today. So what we'll do is likely I'm going to try to clear some of we win. We'll stop. So let's let's go. And are they going to form a square again? No. Good. Maybe I'll just stay in this unit here, just a bit, so that it's not going to be too difficult to defeat next time. But and it's in a nice grouped together blob, which would be easy to pick off. There we go. Right, now do me. And stay out. Yeah, very good. We lost about 10% of our men. I think not even that, probably about 8, 9. And they lost all about 60 percent, maybe a bit more. And we got their general, which is good. March. So let's move back, and just remember to replenish that army at the start of the next turn. It seems to have increased our income as well. I think it's because we lost enough men that the our upkeep has gone up. So that's fine. Okay, research is researching, and it's coming on very nicely. Prestige. We are in the lead now. We're officially in the lead. That's cool. So, look at just how far we've managed to turn this around. We are now a strong modern economy. With a strong modern army. Well, soon. Some parts are, some parts aren't. We are now arguably the dominant power in Europe. Can we say that yet? It's only because like, so these Western nations have all their colonies. Uh, so, which you know, makes them very wealthy. I suppose Spain is the other major power at the moment. Okay, Let's save the game. And block wasn't on. There we go. And yeah, I think now. Let me turn. made it. Oh, oh good. Yeah, they're still moving up, so that's fine. That's good. Okay. Um, yeah, so militarily, what my priorities are repair the army and the navy and keep modernising the army in Lombardy, I think. French Navy looking as scary as ever. Ooh, I wonder if the uh, United Provinces are on borrowed time. I think there was an Austrian army just marching to our land as well, so we'll just have to deal with that at some point. It's a big navy as well. Oh, see, this is the this is the thing about the Russians. They can make armies really, really quickly. So they've managed to build another one already. So it's looking oh. Looking like we're going to be fighting about a battle like this every turn, most likely, uh, based on this. So, yeah, we're going to need to, we might need to get another army out. That was very fast how they managed to get another army. Actually, I think, so this is the army we just defeated, I think. It seems like it to me. This is, but this is another army they just made, just now. Whew, that was quick. Yeah, so, man, they've managed to get in really close as well. Move really fast. Uh, I will decline the attack. Because our main army is not the main one. It's going to crawl in slowly. So, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, that's quite a long intern, isn't it? Right, so this is why I'm still not trying to build anything here. Uh, it's just no point. Um, they're going to be sending armies every turn to meet us. So let's see, what do we have now? We have 24 pounds, 24 pounds in our last. Which is excellent. 
And maybe we'll defeat this army first so that we don't get intercepted on the way, which would be kind of annoying. No, our leaves died. How sad. Our great, great General Ali has died. Uh, well, we knew it was going to happen sooner rather than later, but uh, he's been replaced by a young and spry looking man. Look at that. <laughs> 51 years old and ready to go. So, let's see. Let's, um, yep, let's get this. That army there is, uh, yeah, it's all those Hungarian units. We can't seem to catch up. I'm going to send this army to deal with them, I think. Meanwhile, we've got some Nizam. These guys are sending round uh, to Lombardy as well. And so we're sending that. We're sending these. We're getting the new cannons now. So let's get some more infantry in there. And what else is going on? New town emerges in Transylvania. Fantastic. Is there any more to grow? Yeah, okay. If there's more to grow, we'll get another farm. And it's very orthodox. This might need to be our madrasa. And I'm really tempted now to just get rid of this and be in a new government building. Because with our roads, it's not even going to take too long to get men up there from our main cities. Because the mountains makes this at least two turns anyway. So I don't massively see the point. So we've got we've got cavalry on the way as well. Did that make it? Yeah, that did. So now the only thing that this needs cannons as well. Yep. Memory like a fish me. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units of the good stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. In two turns, this army will have all the infantry it needs and will be all done with this army. And we won't have to do any more. But in the meantime, we're going to want to deal with this army, which hopefully shouldn't get reinforced. So we should be able to take this out before Menshikov can reinforce it. Cherokee nations are dead. Ooh, who's, who's done it? Is it France? Do the Cherokee nations own this? It looks like France has done it. Eesh. Uh, puddling furnace. What does that do? Less cost for artillery and more worth generated by metal work buildings. I wonder if we'll see that. Yeah, I think we do feel that. That's pretty good. Um, yep, we're getting that new, new port there. If I see another one. Another one there. Fantastic. Let's get these ports up to date. Oh, yes. The Ottoman Empire is open for business. I've built uh, this for a new port. Didn't we? Yeah, this one. And got a new Sipahi unit in Egypt. Ah, yes, that was the other place we wanted to uh, keep updating, wasn't it? So we've got 24, 24, 18, 18. Alright, so we need. Oh, we're getting that already. Excellent. So. Two more Sipahi, and then let's start working on those infantry. That's that. And yeah, then this army will soon be ready to go, and we'll be able to march west. I wonder if we, if we were going to march on Naples, we could in fact bosh, bosh, take out these two Spanish regions, and then it won't be too far to get to Naples. Oh, I don't know what I forgot to do. I forgot to build fix the navy. Okay, we're going to have to do the ports. Which is a shame, because I, I love upgrading my ports, it's one of my favourite things, but Navy needs fixing, so let's do that. So you can see the stats here, they're, you know, if they go into another fight, if we need them to use them again, they won't last very long. So. Right. 20. Right, now let's do some fighting. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not still clear on the reinforcement range, but I'm not totally shocked that they've managed to reinforce. As annoying as it is. So they're gonna be coming from our right most likely. Uh, I'm tempted to withdraw and try and try again from a different angle, because that's quite annoying. 
was counting on them not being able to reinforce at that distance. Our guys are coming from this side though, so I don't think they're going to get intercepted. So, no, right, well, we'll try. Gosh, the Russians can build armies quick now. Some of the later games were really good at um, telling you what direction your reinforcements are coming in on. Uh, this is not one of those games. So I'm just going to hope that they're coming from that side. Meanwhile, let's put these guys. Oh, these. This general's really naff at picking ground. Unless we deploy ourselves up here, I suppose, instead. Like that. Actually, I suppose we could just have a massive gun emplacement up here and let them fire over our heads. The organ gun won't fire over our heads though, so maybe that's stupid. That's stupid. Um, let's put these guys there. Let's put a lot of infantry over this side. A lot of infantry over on that side. Once the battle starts, a lot of them. Um, oh, I'd already deploy the unit down, like, yeah. There we go. Right, and then we'll just have the cavalry spread out about there. We'll put the general here. So, once the battle starts, like now. Oh, I've picked the bad ground. I can't get round. Yeah, not a good idea. Okay, first of all, let's upgrade them so they can spread out a bit. I think that should be fine. Unless we're firing down onto them like this. This is good range. I'm going to stop these guys firing until our... Uh, where's the other cannon got? Oh, that's all, that's all down there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to stop this one firing until Laura and Paul infantry is deployed up there on that ridge. I suppose our reinforcements aren't going to turn up until we have some units flee. I don't know, I'm sure the Russians will have the same penalty. Right, we can carry on firing now. Now we've got a bit of time, so I'm actually going to just keep firing down to these guys. Ah! Targeting my cavalry. Let's get them all back. It's about there. Sheesh. I think they've got 100% accuracy at the moment. Yeah, we got the cannons. <laughs> Panic over. Quite a good vantage point we've got up here with our artillery. I suppose we could have if we were being really proactive, gone round the back side of our cavalry, taking out the cannons as they came on, but ugh, effort. So we will take them out. We, besides, our artillery seems we're doing quite good at taking out theirs. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Nah, they're moving around, making themselves tricky targets to hit. Ooh, what's this going to do? Let's mend Shikov. Seeing the battle. Oh, 
Oh, that's another general's border guard unit over there. The left over from last time. <laughs> they're just going on a suicide mission, and they're dead. <laughs> okay. Easy breezy. Let's all fire in this direction. Okay, we've got some cannons there, we've got some cannons there. Okay, maybe we can try and try some the light cavalry to go deal with that. Sure, love their cavalry. Okay, we're taking a lot of friendly fire here from something. Um, a lot of our men have died. I'm not sure what's done it, but yeah, what's done that? Unless it was the cavalry passing through some friendly fire from charging, it could have been. And what's done it? They've lost ten men to something. It doesn't look like artillery fire. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure what it did that. Oh, come on, guys, they're barely moving. How long do you need? There we go. And take that one out. Ooh. Now the feeding in the next one, which we have to take out as well. So that's good. Some cannons there. Or a bunch of cannons there. Can we hit those? No. Um, we'll find their direction though. Oh look, what's in their cavalry? I wonder where they did that one. Our cavalry might be okay, it might not. It's hard to say. It's only one of ours to reinforce, but. Um, See that one smash the bits. That's it, keep firing on these guys. Come on, Yeah, they're definitely gonna win this. Our cavalry is pants compared to Russian cavalry, but I imagine at the same time this isn't one of our best. I suppose we'd try saying it one of And this guy's gonna get replaced anyway, to be honest, with the Sipahi we recruited, so it's no loss at all to lose this unit at all, it's fine. I guess why I don't really care what happens to it. So I'm still somewhat curious what took out that cannon. I feel like it might have been friendly fire from a cavalry charge. Exactly what I'm up to, so we've gone to intercept that cavalry unit. There's. So I won't send it too far out. Aha! I know that you know that I'm doing that. Okay, I'm going to turn on fire wheel, see if we can just fire instead of the guns we have. No, they've clocked it. They figured out what we're doing. And they're sending in their cavalry. Let's get it ready to receive it. Uh, shall we form some squares? Yes, that would be a good idea. Good idea is can't make squares. Okay. You guys will just have to stand around there. Anyway. 
Okay. Hold on, try and take out my cannons. I don't think it's going to be your lucky day, guys. Told you. Alright, got the general coming up as well. Don't worry about him, just wants attention. <laughs> Surprise! What, oh, you think I didn't see you? Saw you coming, mate. Right, let's start fighting on their line infantry. Let's use these guys that just run down that last turn. Uh, oh, there's a line infantry coming in. Okay. Yeah, you guys form up now. That looks like we didn't make space in the end. That's okay. Right, uh, cannons. Fire that way now, please. Yeah, they're reinforcing quite hard now. Let's go around the side, lead that cavalry unit away from the infantry. Oh, what are they doing? What are they doing? You're killing me, guys. <laughs> what was this? Oh, what was that, guys? That was disappointing. The pathfinding in this game is just atrocious. They can't figure. They could not figure out a direction that way. They had to sort of realign, move, checkers their way, and they got caught. Four. Five. Right. Right. Let's start finding this direction to get the infantry when they come on. Unfortunately, looks like the infantry aren't coming our way, so we might better take these guys out and then turn around and get back behind the infantry line again. We've taken out all their guns, so now they've been compelled to move towards us. And we pull the gun. Super here, good. Look, barely any losses, and we've taken out two cavalry units with them. That's the first regiment of horse as well, so it's one of the first units they recruited. It might be, they might have even started it. I always like taking out the original units. We didn't lose ours, we just expanded ours. <laughs> okay. Because a brave man who would stand in front of an orc and gun. Still, just draw our swords and 
run on in. And of course they've put a unit behind a wall. Just to prolong the agony. Oh, they got some cannons. Shame if my organ guns weren't a fire on them. So you're right, you're off. Uh, I can't go over how cool autumn units look up close, I mean, just look at the style. Practical? Meh. Cool? Certainly. Oh, they deployed behind a wall as well. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Gotta have had an organ gun right there. Get that last guy. You can do it, I believe. Where's he gone? There he is. Get him! <laughs> He's right there! Oh, somehow I don't think I'm going to get him. Right, let's go charge that, charge that cavalry cannon unit instead. And cannons. Start firing on that cosmic unit. Whoa! Good shooting, guys. Alright, let's see if we can pressure on these guys off their walls. Again, not too concerned about what happens to these units, so if we can just get these guys to move, even if it comes at the cost of their being alive, um, we can set that. We can get around the back of them. You guys perch yourself up over there. I'm gonna have the cannons, yep, fire on this unit. You have awakened the organ gun. May God have <laughs> mercy on your souls. Oh, actually, I might send my Sapahi to just charge that other unit over there. Because they're, they're, they're facing. 
you out of the way. Tempted to just withdraw it. Let's just do it. Let's just withdraw the battle. They've done it. Four well, effective, some horrendous losses. But the uh, captain of the unit seemed to have survived. Brave man. Quite a long battle, this. I'm having to get a lot more done this episode, but uh, the Russians have not given up on their plan to take Gyasi. This was, yeah, entirely the right call. I think that's validated all the waiting we did in all our armies to get this, these units of cavalry into the game. Especially that one in Persia. When we, when we can unleash these guys on the unsuspecting Persian and Mughal infantry, it's going to be so... Look at this! Yeah, we took some bad losses. Oh, no, we didn't. That was all Zillion 2. That one... Okay, that one has taken some damage. Uh, but I think that's from like, cannon fire, actually. I think that one was already hurt. I can't see many dead cavalry units. That was... Ridiculous. That's borderline broken. Look at that. Right, um. Oh, that's only one again. Actually, I don't know why they charged. I didn't give. No, I've definitely not used them. I guess they, they charge that all. Uh, I'm looking at the replay to see if I did. I, I can't remember. Maybe I did. Select them by accident. Don't remember doing it. Right, let's get them back. Just that unit to deal with now. The added bonus of basically replenishing our cannons, <laughs> and we will use what money we have to replenish some of these guys. Um, in fact, I'll cancel your replenishment and use it instead on the grenadiers. Yeah, we're getting these guys to send out, that's good. And some men to send out here to Ali's old army. Oh, we got this army here as well. Non stop action today. Yeah. 
Right. Okay, I was just, I was just thinking, so I didn't really see what I was doing there, but I, I was sort of looking at uh, what to... about possible options of taking Prague, but not hanging on to it, and gifting it instead to someone else to form a buffer. Uh, but I don't massively trust allies in this game because of the wonky diplomacy. So I was just wondering if I wanted to think about it, but I don't think I do. All right, let's get this army before it does any real damage. Now we fought this army before, but it keeps getting away. But should we destroy it here, we should be able to wipe out, at last, some Hungarian hussars and line infantry. Guns here. Just good old fashioned cannons. So let's set up. Nice flat ground. Do your worst. Good stuff. Already getting some hits. We like to see it. Right, some Hungarian hussars on the way. Yeah, I'm not tempted to form a square yet, actually. I'll let, I'll let them stay at both feet. A few volleys of musket fire, I think. I was hoping they'd do fire by rank. But no. Okay, they're off anyway, that's fine. Yeah, that's a bit bold. I don't know what their plan was there, but okay. And they've tried it here as well, but to no avail. Yeah, that might be enough to kill them. Yeah, let's turn you towards these chaps coming on here. You guys start flying in this direction, see if you can hit any of their units. Okay, actually, change the target. Got the meteor target here. Bum. 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 Are you battle heavy episode today? Yeah, okay, 
Okay, let's stop all the artillery fire. Just unleash the cavalry. Yeah, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Make me noise. Yeah. Everyone, find your dance partners. Their first regiment foot as well. One of those starting units or first recruited. I think I've seen that before in the in previous battles. So. Right. That's done it. So we won't be seeing them run around. Let's get some more men. Oh, he's got a surgeon. <laughs> Speed and dexterity with a knife. Knife saw will need all of the basic accomplishments of any surgeon. All right, well, conscious of the length of this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. After a few episodes a little while ago when it was mostly economy building and building building, we have been now doing a bunch of battles back to back. Very action packed. Wars, wars, wars. Uh, but join the next episode when I want to also. Um, Yes, as I'll do it now. I'm going to put the cavalry units in there. And if we're in range, I might use it now to march on Baluchistan. Let's see. Uh, can we make it? Yes. Okay, so I think in the next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finally launch an invasion on Baluchistan and start expanding here. Um, because I'm just so excited to get a kind of an empire going in India if we can. So uh, don't miss any of it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.